Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we have an amazing story to share with you about a woman who was able to help a wolf in pain. Stay until the end to enjoy this amazing story of rescue. Samantha was a nature enthusiast who had grown up in a small town in the mountains of Montana. From a young age, she had always been fascinated by the wild animals that roamed the area, particularly the wolves. She would often spend her days hiking through the woods, trying to catch a glimpse of the elusive creatures. As she got older, her love for the wilderness only grew stronger. She attended college to study wildlife biology and eventually landed a job as a park ranger. Every day, she would patrol the park, keeping an eye out for any animals in need of help. One winter day, while on her usual rounds, she heard a strange noise coming from a nearby clearing. It sounded like a howl, but it was clearly one of pain. She crept closer, her heart pounding in her chest. As she emerged from the trees, she saw a young wolf caught in a hunter's trap. The wolf was making pitiful noises, and Samantha's heart went out to it. She knew she had to help, so she approached the animal slowly, talking to it in a soothing tone. The wolf, sensing that she meant no harm, allowed her to get closer, and she examined the trap and saw that it was a simple clamp trap, but the wolf's paw was clearly injured. Knowing that she couldn't leave the animal there, Samantha decided to take action. She pulled out her pocket knife and carefully cut the trap open, releasing the wolf's paw. The wolf lay there for a moment, whining pitifully. Samantha knew that she couldn't just leave it there, so she did the only thing she could think of. She picked it up and cradled it in her arms. With the wolf securely in her arms, she set off on the long trek back to the ranger station. It was a difficult journey as the wolf was heavy and the terrain was rough, but she was determined to get the animal the help it needed. Finally, after what seemed like hours, she made it to the station. There, she called the local vet and arranged for the wolf to be examined. The vet was amazed when he saw the animal that Samantha had brought in. He examined the wolf's paw and determined that it was bruised but not broken, so he gave the wolf some medicine to help with the pain and said that it could be released back into the wild once it had recovered. Samantha was relieved that the wolf was going to be okay, so she decided to take it home and care for it herself until it was well enough to be released. She set up a makeshift den for the wolf in her garage and made sure it had plenty of food and water, and every day, she would visit the wolf talking to it and giving it medicine. As the days passed, the wolf began to recover and its energy returned, and it started to move around more. Samantha knew that it was time to release it back into the wild. She took the wolf to a nearby nature reserve, where it would have plenty of space to roam and hunt. As she watched the wolf disappear into the woods, her heart was filled with a sense of satisfaction, as she had helped a wild animal in need and had played a small part in preserving the natural balance of the ecosystem. From that day on, whenever she heard the howl of a wolf in the night, she would smile, knowing that she had made a difference. It is said that after the wolf was released back into the wild, it returned to the ranger station to show its gratitude to Samantha. The wolf appeared at her doorstep one morning, bringing her a freshly caught rabbit as a gift. The wolf then nuzzled against her hand, as if to say thank you for saving its life. From then on, the wolf was seen occasionally around the ranger station, as if keeping an eye on Samantha. Wolves have a strong sense of gratitude and have been known to bring gifts to those who rescue them and this behavior is known as reciprocal altruism and is observed in many wild animals, not just wolves. This can include bringing food or other small items to their rescuer as a form of gratitude. And there you have it folks. The story of Samantha, a park ranger who saved a young wolf from certain death. It just goes to show that even the smallest act of kindness can make a big difference in the lives of wild animals. We hope this video has inspired you to take action and do your part in preserving the natural world around us. Remember, every little bit counts. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more nature and wildlife content. See you in the next one.